Hi everyone, this is a quick update for Bitcoin, nice clickbait title for you guys. So, is Bitcoin going to go to 50,000? That is the question. Um, for those of you from the outset wishing to join the weekly subscription service, just sign up in the uh, description below. If you want to pay a month up front, uh, what you can do is pay until the end of February 2018. Just email me. Um, Financial Freedom 007 Outlook.com, and then I'll give you what the rates are going to be. Um, but that's just like a continuous payment all the way until the end of February. And those interested in the um, PDFs and LEO Wave cheat sheets, just go into my Shopify store once again. It's all in the description. So the weekly subscriptions on Wednesdays and Sundays, and I do occasionally send another email out on Mondays. Usually, what starts off as a tip covering a couple of coins usually ends up. Um, I usually end up covering around 15 coins in total, so it's a really detailed video. The last one on Sunday got quite a few views, um, and uh, yeah, it ends up being a sort of 30, 40, my 45 minute video, but it really gives me the time to go through as many coins as possible. So if you guys want to join, there you go. Anyway, let's go on to Bitcoin. So I've not had a look at this chart because I'm not really interested in Bitcoin anymore, um, ever since the altcoin uh popping action which is going to continue for the rest of this month and February and um, hopefully a lot longer so basically the initial count that I was working on um, going as far back as well the beginning really all the way down down here um, the largest count that I can do in Elliot is sort of uh, initially started here sorry that was yeah that was your wave one that was a two then I made a three, yeah, I believe the three was at, uh, yeah, 4,000, and then made a four, and I was going to end up making a larger sort of five, so obviously th th this is the largest degree wave possible, so um, put that as super millennium, and what I'll do, I'll take this one down to, let's call that the sub millennium, right, so that's the largest count. Now the question is, is it going to go to 40,000? So it's obviously in an extended way 5. So that's the large count. We'll just leave the 5 hovering around here somewhere. Um, the most optimistic target for you guys interested is 60, well, 60,000, 61 to 63,000, which is, which is a little bit optimistic to be honest, but um, that's assuming we go into an extended 5 or 5 or 5, um, which may be possible to be honest, the way things are going. So basically wave three on a on a on a on the largest possible scale started well finished here at three thousand whatever and then your wave four started here so then what we've been working with is a wave one let me just grab this little uh little fella see wave one went to five thousand then that's the jp morgan low um when jamie diamond came out with his um usual bollocks um then we've got a one, two, three, four going into a five. And the question is, did wave three end here or here? Um, well, that's up for debate because it could be an A, B, C triangle or it could be um, an ending diagonal wave five to make the wave three end here. So if we say wave three ended here, then, so this is the only reason, the only, there's only issue for debate is basically how do you define this, okay? Do you define this as... Um, wave 3 ending here, so A, B, C, D, E triangle, which is which is fine, okay, that's that's not a bad thing to do, that's that's completely reasonable, or do you define it as um, wave 3 ending here, and that's an A, that's actually an A, B, C, B, and all of that is a 5 wave C, in which case wave 4 ended here, so, and obviously that, that does affect the projections, because are you projecting your wave 4 from this distance, which was 11,000, um, so, it's up here. So eleven one five nine, or are you projecting your way four from here as you should do if it's a triangle, in which case from twelve six nine four. So that that discrepancy obviously affects the readings. That's why it's not like the Bitcoin to twenty thousand video where it was a little bit more obvious. Um so it's difficult to know. I mean twenty thousand did get hit, but whether that was a B wave um, and then this is a C, or whether that was in fact the top of three, and this is now an A, B, C, D, E triangle, I'm not too sure. So because of that, I've had to project two distances, uh, two projections up. Um, so right now, it's just going to go up. I mean, nice uh, buying opportunity yesterday. You shouldn't really worry about the news. Um, um, 
And yeah, and there's a technical indicator you can use to uh, predict the price of Bitcoin, which I go over in my video. So if you guys are interested, just sign up. So anyway, um, uh, there, there, there's there's discrepancy here of a couple of thousand dollars between where Wave 4 actually ended. Um, so Wave 4 could have ended anywhere between this region here. Yeah, so that's that's Wave 4. Now, the question is, how far is it going to go? So obviously, it's making a 1 and now a 2. This The chances of this being hit is 100%. This this will easily get hit. This target here, thirty thousand, um, assuming ten thousand was the low, or anywhere upwards to thirty-four. I mean, you could probably you probably loosen that a little bit, and you could probably um, tighten that up a little bit. So, the chances of this being hit are one hundred percent. There is no doubt in my mind. The minimum Bitcoin is going to go is thirty thousand. Um, but then the question comes: Is is it going to be something like? Um, you know that might have been a one uh, or a two, a one two. So let's just, well, let's just say that the bottom was actually in. So in which case, let's just say, start off from there. One two. Is it going to be a three four five, and then that's it? Or, and that's obviously going to be on um, a, a lower level. Yeah. So we're going. Let's just make it clearer. We're going on a cycle level. Or is it going to be such that three? is going to be 30,000, which once again is possible, and then it's going to make a little retracement to A4, um, and basically after it breaks, after it breaks 20,000, there's nothing in between 20,000 and 30,000 from a Fibonacci perspective, there's a little bit of resistance I worked out at 25,000, that's probably going to be the retrace, so it's either going to be something like this, and then it's going to crash to 3,000, yeah, so that's going to be way 5 of way 5 of way five then you're gonna get that nasty crash that we've all been um you know uh, predicting well I have anyway um, sorry if you don't like that um, or is it gonna be such that because the momentum is so bullish we're gonna end up doing something like this now the way I see it the chances of it hitting 30,000 are 100 percent they're not even 99 percent they're 100 percent so because it's such a high percentage the chances of it hitting in this area Anywhere between, well, you can tighten that up a little bit, to be honest. Um, it's going to hit anywhere between forty-five to 50,000. And 50,000 is that psychological number where, you know, I can see it getting to around March and it's really pushing on that 30,000 barrier. And I can see the media attention really ramping up. And that might cause the big blow-off sort of top that we've been waiting for. So that could happen. As I said... 30,000 is a 100% guarantee, 50,000, I'll have to see how the price moves, obviously as it breaks 20,000 I'll be able to analyse the wave count on a closer level, but it could very well be the case. Right now, percentage of it hitting 50,000, I'd, 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 I'd say it's about 50%, but as it starts breaking 20,000, I reckon that percentage will go higher and higher depending on the move, because the altcoins have got so much higher to go and the special technical indicator which I discuss in my subscription videos that um, hasn't confirmed yet the way that I wanted to so Bitcoin still has to go higher so as I said as it breaks through here even though my the safest count is this okay that's that's 100% guarantee actually what I'm working on is that this wave 3 this 30,000 is going to be wave 3 or wave 5 and then it's going to end up hitting 45 to 50,000. The most optimistic target, if you guys want it, which I don't really want to, you know, this, it's very hard to predict this. This is assuming a massively extended wave 5, um, and it ends up just doing this, and that's going to be 61,000. Sorry, yeah, somewhere around 61,000, and that is just ridiculous. I mean, that, you know, whether that happens or not, I'm not sure, but you can guarantee once this bubble ends, it's not going to be good. It's going to be a big, big move down, um, and that'll be the short of a lifetime. Um, so yeah, let's let's just leave that optimistic target. As I said, let's just leave it at let's leave the count at this for the time being. But that is the most optimistic. Like that is just ridiculously the chance of it hitting sixty one thousand right now at about five percent, I reckon. But so it's hundred percent chance, fifty percent chance, and I'd say five percent. But let's just leave it at this for the time being. As I said, it's so obvious it's going to hit 30,000 that it could easily just brush past that. And if that ends up being a wave three, then yeah, the next step is going to be 50,000. So 
Um, that's my video on Bitcoin. As I said, if you guys want to join the weekly group, let me know. But that's that's the account that I'm working on. It's purely dependent on what do you define as a top of way three and a top of bottom of way four. Because of that, there's these two barriers that I use. Um, but I reckon something like this is going to end up playing out. Um, but as I said, the altcoins have got so much higher to go. Um, and on the weekly chart, so it's it's done this. Um, Yeah, so weekly chart, red candle, indecision, doji candle, which hasn't been confirmed yet as such. This is now an inside candle. Um, so today's on the Tuesday, so that will close on the Sunday. So this is an inside candle. I reckon this is just going to be a consolidation phase before it's slowly going to mark up. Frankly, the longer Bitcoin takes to go up, the better because it allow the altcoins to catch up. So... That's my targets on Bitcoin, um, and um, I'll see you guys on the next video.